Hello, I just wanted to uh, make a video um, on my way to vote in the Israeli elections and um, I need to travel quite a long distance because I used to be living in the Haredi slash ultra-orthodox neighborhood of um, what was then called Kiryat Sefer 20 years ago. It's now called Modi'in Elite. So I'm now living in Arnona and um, so I have to take two buses to go to Modi'in Elite to vote and um, I just wanted to point out something interesting. I had expected when I first um, was thinking about going back there to vote that the way I would get there would be to go uh, from Arnona to the central bus station and I expected I would take a train which goes to the place called Modi'in and that Mo since Modi'in Elite is close to Modi'in, I, I expected uh, that I would take a train there and then take a bus to Modi'in Elite. But because of the social situation, I'm sorry, I'm looking out, make sure my bus doesn't come. In uh, Israel, the way, the way things are set up, transportation uh, reflects society and uh, things are not necessarily linked up with what's close. What you would expect to is that uh, places would be linked in a transportation way to what's close to them. But that's not really what happens. Instead, they're linked to what's culturally close to them, not geographically close. So there is no, actually no bus from Modi'in to Modi'in Elite, which, uh, which kind of surprised me. Um, but there are buses to places much farther from Modi'in Elite to neighbor, the uh, ultra-Orthodox slash Haredi neighborhoods in, um, in Jerusalem and the um, ultra-Orthodox uh, neighborhood of uh, Bnei Brak or city of Bnei Brak, in, uh, which is near Tel Aviv, but there is no bus to Tel Aviv. So that's a, a kind of an interesting thing. I kind of uh, had remembered that from uh, 20 years ago, but uh, it was a little bit surprising how stark it is. So in order to get from Arnona to to Modin Elite by the shortest, dis shortest uh, way on the bus, I have to take two buses and I have to go toward the Haredi neighborhood or Orthodox neighborhood of Harnof from which there is a bus that goes directly from Harnof to Modi and Elit. And I don't have to go all the way to Harnof. Um, I, I can get off right here which is um, the edge of a neighborhood called Yivat Shaul, also ultra-Orthodox, which is um, the closest place to where the, the, highway, the main highway is and so it's like where the buses happen to cross, so I was able to, to come here, and um, now I have to wait for the bus that goes from Harnof to Modi'in Elite. So another thing I inter that's very interesting I noticed is um, wow. if you look at the, um, the election posters, the, this uh, ultra-Orthodox party, Gimel, the, the, the letter Gimel, is the symbol for it. Each, each party has uh, letter symbols. I have not seen um, any ads for this party uh, since today because I haven't really been in the, uh, the ultra-Orthodox neighborhoods. So um, it's interesting that I've never seen this before and, and probably there's um, a lot of them here and there's also the Shas party. I haven't seen that either in uh, Arnona, um, which, which I, I kind of expected that I would because this is one, the Sephardi party and uh, there are Sephardi in there but uh, apparently uh, they don't, they don't uh, advertise there because it's not such a uh, ultra-orthodox area, so um, Haredi area, so I haven't seen those and the parties that I have seen like um, Netanyahu's Likud party and uh, the nationalist Tet party, I forget what they're called, um, I've seen a lot of those in Arnona and, and uh, none of them here. So it's very polarized and uh, by uh, where people live, the neighborhoods that people live. And I actually remember a funny story of uh, from a long time ago that there was a little girl that uh, she, I forget how old she was, uh, she was sure that the Gimmel party was going to like get the most votes because she only saw uh, those the Gimel um, signs up. She had never seen e any other parties sign up, and she saw a huge number of Gimel signs. And so when she found out that they didn't, that they only got a few seats, uh, she was very shocked. 
<laughs> it's like, how could that be? What, I, I don't think, didn't know that there were any other parties. So it's kind of a funny story uh, that I remember I was uh, a Shabbos guest, Friday night guest at someone's house, and they said that their daughter uh, said that, and it was kind of a funny story. So anyway, uh, this is my adventure. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll post another video when I get to Modi Elite.